It's Mad Dog Amora. We are super psyched right now. Yeah, we're joined by Liam and Harry from One Direction. How's it going, guys? Yeah, we're good. Well, thank you. So, your entire career has kind of been documented on television. We were talking about this before, that you got your start on X Factor. Yeah. And every moment of your rise to superstardom has been documented. How does that feel? Like, do you feel yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of crazy. I mean, like, most bands who are, who are made, like, behind the scenes, their development's all kind of backstage, whereas ours was right out in the front of it sort of thing. So, people kind of got to see us week in, week out, how we improved, if we got worse or whatever, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, we, we, we enjoy being in a lot of fun. One of the things that gets mentioned a lot, too, is how fast your development was. Yeah. Did you guys feel that you gelled that fast, week to week? Yeah, I think, you know, like, when we first came together, we were, you know, we, we kind of just hung out for about, for like a week. So we just, like, made sure we were friends first before we started kind of working together. Good I, think, move. I think that we kind of went about that the right way. So, yeah. you know, it wasn't all kind of work-based. And how did you figure out who was going to sing what? I mean, obviously you're working with some great coaches, but I hear that you, you didn't even know what harmonizing meant. No, not at all. Yeah, I, was, <laughs> I actually tried to do a little bit of harmonizing. We actually tried, and we used to just hum. I used to hum a note, and then I'd try and think of a note above hum that, and like, we kind of tried to work out that it just wasn't working at all. Um, so we kind of just used to sing all the songs together, like in unison, like, like five boys around the campfire. It was ridiculous. So. It's a good job we didn't tape any of those, but we actually did have some recordings, but I don't even know where they've gone. Yeah, Harry's got some recordings, which you'll never ever see the <laughs> right. Did you ever realize getting into this, just the amount of work that was involved Not to put all. together a band? And, and yeah, what has the workload been like for you guys? You know, I think, like, I think looking from the outside, it looks like, quite easy. I think, you know, the, the shop was just how much work there was, but, you know, I think if you're, if you're doing something worth anything, and you, you know, work hard, and we do work yeah. very so, you know, we're, we're having a lot of fun as well. Now, what about the live set that you guys are doing uh, on the road right now? How much work went into production and choreography? How long was that rehearsed before you had it nailed? But to be honest with you, there's not, there's not much choreography that we do sort of thing. That's all like kind of where you stand on the stage sort of thing, like switch around positions and stuff, and so everyone can step forward and have their moment sort of thing, I suppose, because we all sing in the band, which is one of the key things about our band. Um, so there was a lot of work waiting to rehearse it because a lot of the things are quite the same but there's not really any dancing sort of choreo sort of thing we kind of just get on there you know be ourselves have some fun get the crowd involved and that's kind of the way our show works I suppose not really dancers yeah maybe one day movers maybe one day <laughs> maybe like a head spin in oh okay so <laughs> yeah. I'm going to hold back you to that yeah. Yeah. Um, what's been your biggest change now that you're kind of a superstar do you find that there's people from your past that are connecting with you Ex-girlfriends or something like you know that. What? It's nice to talk to some people from school sometimes, just to see how everyone's kind of doing something. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think like the main change is just like how busy we are. Like, you know, I think when we were at school and, and college and stuff, I think you know you didn't really look past the weekend, and now we can look into next year and see like what countries we're in and stuff. So, you know, that's pretty crazy. But Do you miss anything about not being famous? I, I wouldn't say. No, I think you can miss things, just like you miss anything, but, you know, I don't think any of us would change, you know, what we're doing now for anything, so. I do think we all said that we'd love to go back to school just for one day, knowing what you knew now, sort of thing, just to go back and enjoy it a bit more, I suppose, because, you know, school's a good fun time, but I think the main thing we miss at the moment being on the road is just our families and friends, like, you know, we have to phone mum every day and make sure she's okay, sort of thing, so that's kind of the thing at the moment, so without our phones, it'd be a lot more difficult. We opened up our Twitter accounts to questions from, from fans of the band, and we crashed a couple of servers. Yeah. Safe to yeah. say, with the pure volume of questions. <laughs> you guys up for a couple of questions from sure. your fans? Sure. These are really, really cute. There's some great questions. Some of them will be so random. They always are. They always come up with the, yeah, the, the, well, you're just like, what the, the best questions. What was that about? Yeah, they're yeah. really cute. Okay, this one's from Michaela from Burlington. She says, have you guys ever forgotten the lyrics to one of your songs while on stage? I actually did the first, the, the second gig we ever did. I forgot the words, but I remember singing "Snow Patrol" by Jess God, and I pretended that the mic was wasn't working, just so I could kind of get away with it. Yeah, it's a good one. If anyone ever forgets the words, just, just tap the mic if you don't like. I've done that. I, uh, yeah, I did it on the show, and I sang like the second verse, in the first verse. And it made it made it sound really inappropriate. So then I had to change all the words. But you saved it. Yeah, but it's not even a little bit inappropriate at the okay. time. You just kind of, yeah. I don't know, it's just the way it went. <laughs> this one is uh, is from Monica from Twitter. Uh, she wants to know if you guys would say something in a Canadian accent. So she's given us a sentence. There you go, that's close. Here's the sentence. If you're ordering a coffee from one of our coffee shops, it's very popular to make this order. 
Did you do the? We heard you might have done a. Did you do the roll? The double double. Can I get a two more to double double A? That's pretty good. Yeah. Cool. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Donut holes. Donut holes, Timbits. You know, I know Timbits. People say, people say the, um, the out, out and about. <laughs> out and about, yeah. Out and about. People say like it was different. This is from uh, Natasha at Hotmail. Did you know that there's an app for iPhone called Harry Styles is My Boyfriend? You take Harry on dates until he falls in love with you and then proposes. No. I don't think that's no, true. Is it a free app? That's my question. <laughs> How much is this going to cost? 69 pence. You didn't know that? I don't, I'm wondering, you can go from this app. I don't think, I don't actually yeah. think that's right. <laughs> yeah. How did this happen? I'm going to have to have a look. Is this yeah. even about you? I'm just kidding. Here's <laughs> another phone question. Uh, Aaron from Montreal wants to know, who's the most famous contact that you guys have in your phone right now? The most famous contact I have is you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 I have a... Comedian called Michael McIntyre, who's like a UK based comedian. Okay. Niall has uh, Beyonce. Has who? Beyonce. Oh, really? No way. Best books? That's pretty cool. A lot of people uh, on, on, on both Twitter and uh, via email want to know is it all weird when you read people having your names in their Twitter? Oh, no, it's cute. It's yeah? cute. It's quite yeah. flattering. Yeah, it's good. And, and how often do you guys actually go on Twitter and, and, and read the feeds? Do you oh, every, I'd day, say, yeah. Yeah, every day. Every day. Yeah? Yes. Once or twice a yeah. day. Unless you haven't got internet, which in the case I had yesterday. Which didn't go on so. Right. And then this morning it froze on me, so that wasn't good news either. <laughs> in the middle of that Twitter session, you should breathe, so it's okay. This was from Tracy Humphreys in Oakville. Do you boys ever get into major fights? I'm just curious because you're so tight, but you spend so much time together, you must get annoyed by each other once in a while. I think, you know, like, because we spend so much time together, it is kind of like any fights we have are like regular squabbles. So it's about like what radio station we listen to. Uh, what, what we're having for lunch or something like that. And, uh, and so it's all for pretty minutes. quick minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's little stupid ones. Like Zane loves to leave the, uh, the car window open in the morning when it's right. absolutely freezing in the UK. And I'm sat there, and my seat, like, we have our own, like, designated seats in the car when you sit. No, we don't. You always steal no, my seat. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. And I'm sat there. The no, we don't. We do. I can't take that. I'm done. And then the band broke up and they were never seen again. <laughs> And we never had car seats. <laughs> Back left my seat. Always wear a seatbelt. Well, listen, um, really random. let's give you guys an opportunity because you're going to be traveling all across the uh, all yep. across the country. Anything you want to say to your Canadian fans as we wrap things up? Just a massive thank you. You, know, you want to say a massive thank you to everyone who supported us from the start. Anyone who's you know got our CDs, listened to our music. Voting for the Brit. Yeah. Massive yeah. thank you. And uh, we'll keep tweeting you. Just keep tweeting us. Let's stay in touch. CD's out in one week in Canada. Make sure you go buy one for you and one for a friend. Mm -hmm. I'm going to buy you one too. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy one for you. One for you and one for a friend. One for each other. You guys good? You good? We can hook you up. We can hook you up. Thanks, guys. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.